So this is the water feature that we built, I don't know, four or five years ago. Stunning little moss rock, granite pond. Hello, sir. So we're gonna be making this thing bigger. Doing a wetland filter, intake bay, all this stuff. But you can see that it really is starting to mature nicely. We're gonna turn this into the Peterson Pond 2.0 and with all the bells and whistles, kind of build it the way Bill now envisions it. Having his grandkids be a little bit older and that kind of stuff. So a lot more interactive, much bigger, more volume for fish, that kind of stuff. There's that cool fire pit area over there. This turned out really, really sweet when we built this a while back, but can't wait to kind of dig in and give it its new facelift. All right, so we've got some plant removals that we have to get done in order to make this pond enlargement happen. You see Corey back over there pulling up some of the ground covers. You've got Luis over here pulling out perennials, pastas, barberries, Alberta spruce. We've got some grasses back there. We're gonna keep the boxwood where it's at just because it's such a mature boxwood and it's so hot out, we don't wanna stress that thing out any more than we need to. The willows are gonna stay for now, but really it's just kind of getting this area cleaned up and easy for us to maneuver in and about without trampling over these established plants. We have the pond getting drained as we speak as well. So we're trying to cross off multiple boxes on our checklist for things to do to get this project rolling. We're gonna get to the point very, very quickly that we're gonna need to start pulling those fish out and getting them into the tubs that are staged back over there. All of the work is basically happening from here all the way over. So that's why we're removing all these plants because this is gonna be our workspace and our pallet for this project. We've got some of our ground mats down covering the patio. We also have about four more that we'll use just to stage some of the bigger rock out in the yard, but it's so stinking and dry that we really virtually didn't have to use any of them to get the machine back here for fear of putting ruts in the grass. Anyways, we're gonna get the plants out and then get the fish out and then start pulling rocks out of here. We've got the daisy chain of cobbles coming out. Looks like we already have about three tons pulled out of there. We're gonna go ahead and start focusing on getting now the boulders out and getting a bunch of that gravel kind of just pushed down to the bottom. I believe this is the area in through here that we are going to seam. But we're gonna go ahead and just start pulling out all these big chunks of moss rock in here. And we'll continue to work our way down to the liner. There's a ton of gravel in there that we'll have to get out. Not sure where we're gonna stage that yet. All right, so we're at the start of day two. We got a lot of stuff done yesterday. You can see our hole is almost all the way dug. We're gonna continue to kind of dig this area back just to give a little bit more of a four foot section to really increase that volume, which was a big, big thing that the customers were looking for. It was just an increase of volume and enough space for interactivity for all of their grandkids and so on and so forth. So we're gonna continue to dig this out just a little bit more, go straight down to our four foot. This looks relatively straight right now. We are going to have some some steps that lead you from this upper patio down and kind of work their way down into the pond down to that bottom depth so what I want to do is just over excavate this area and give myself the real estate to really be as creative as I need to be or want to be with those steps you know and I don't want a very linear staircase I want to be able to twist and turn them we'll probably have a boulder here another boulder over here framing out the top two feet of steps and then maybe we'll get a 90 degree turn and down in not really sure but I also want to be able to have that flexibility once the liner is in and as opposed to thinking about it as an afterthought. So Dan's gonna clean up this area and through here and then we will get our fabric down. We have to seam our liner right here in the stream. So I think we're gonna pull back a little bit more of that so that we can get that liner nice and straight across and then we're gonna seam the two pieces. It's gonna be definitely a challenge because of everything already being excavated and all the wrinkles and folds and then how the liner kind of goes like with all the waves and everything. So it'll be a challenge, but it's not something that 
that we haven't done before and won't continue to do again so it'll just be time consuming is all so we've got that going on pretty good digging conditions you can see we've got a little bit of water down there but that was merely from all of the water that was running down through the stream because that liner was left hanging over last night so no major issues we were concerned that maybe we would run into groundwater issues because we did the last time we were out here but it turns out to not be the case so that's fantastic we're going to forego putting an under drain on this project because of the conditions that we're encountering so just really really pleased so we're going to keep going and hopefully make some progress today so the goal is for today get this excavated get the hole cleaned up get our fabric in our liner in, get our liner seamed and then we'll start rocking in the bottom part of the stone order also showed up so all of our granites that we're going to be using to rock in the bottom of the pond as well as like our cobbles for the wetland filter that kind of stuff all of our filler rock showed up today we're going to stage all of that back over here so it's nice and easy to access it sounds like moose just got here from illinois brick so we're happy about that that the delivery's on time and it's Corey, jack dan and myself today and we're just going to keep cruising right along and do the best we can today okay So seams are always a challenge, especially on renovations. You kind of see, we ended up tearing this stream apart a little bit further back. And you can see that there has already actually been a seam done on this portion when we did the original project. What Jack's doing now is he tried to get all of that gravel cleaned off, all the mud, everything. So we're just gonna rinse this thing down, get it all nice and clean. Use some Scotch-Brite pads, which you see Dan has right there. Kind of scour pads just to help clean off a lot of that scale and that buildup. We've got a two by eight over here that we're going to run across and then drape the liner up on top of that in order to get a nice flat surface straight run for our three inch double-sided tape to adhere to and then that'll also give us a nice surface for us to try and bond the pond liner on top to the existing stream liner we got moose over here from illinois brick like i said bringing all of our granite cobbles in so we'll have plenty of stuff to keep busy once we get this seam done over and through here but we're gonna get that thing rocking and rolling once we get this liner in then we can go ahead and start rocking the bottom of the pond You can see big man down there is moving some rock around we got the liner and underlayment in today we have Corey and myself are starting on this corner and pretty much what we're doing is if Corey moves out of the way so right now we have this approximately two and a half foot high wall and right now we're just we're rocking in this entire bottom with all granite and the reason why you can see that the wall starts here and we have the rock so far out is for us to allow space behind that rock so we can backfill with gravel and that allows us to double stack and triple stack our rock going from this rock all the way up to the top of that shelf up there. And so right now, Chris and Dan are uh, strapping up a rock that we're gonna set in right there. And that's actually gonna be a wall that you've seen in before, our wall stone, that's gonna go all along this wall. And we just wanna get that vertical look so when you're standing up on this patio, you're looking down and it's almost a four foot direct drop from the top of the patio. DK Team Aquascape. I got the volunteer Jack. We haven't fired him today. It's really hard to find good employees. It's even harder to find good volunteers like Jack. Yeah. Yeah. You got a little something right there. Sorry, it's from the ice cream yeah. that we had yeah. earlier yeah. from the customer. I think it's a little bit dirty. You know, because Chris decided to leave early and uh, yeah. he wasn't able to participate in the festivities of having yeah. ice cream. Snooze you lose. Yeah, so it happens. Treats are our gain, right? So, what are we? Uh, day two? Day, end of day two. End of day two. Had a good day. Uh, we got a seam done, got the liner in, got half the bottom of the pond rock. We were just discussing with Bill, not a reflection rock as Jack put it, which I looked at and completely confused, but that tends to happen because Jack says crazy, goofy stuff, but I'm just, we like I'm just him. The, I'm just the guy he's that part of the family. We keep him around because he's fun entertainment. So 
Let's walk our fans through what we got done today. When we showed up this morning, we had the whole 99% done. We had it all excavated out. We just had to go back. In this area, there was a river birch kind of standing right where that pipe's coiled up at. Bunch of roots. <laughs> it wasn't just a river birch. Yeah, it was a it was, massive yeah, it was, river birch. Yeah, it was a big one. Chris um, had fun digging that one out. Yeah, and uh, so there was a bunch of ruts in the uh, in the ground, so we wanted to clean all that up, make sure we couldn't pierce the liner, and we ended up going with the heavy-duty underlayment just to give us that extra protection, and it's just a little bit thicker than our normal underlayment. So we placed that down, got our liner in, got all that situated how we wanted it to sit. You know, Chris, you've done a good job of teaching him. He actually talks like he knows what he's talking about. See, I always thought you were just doing one of these in the background when I'm filming, That's only and you weren't talking. paying attention. That's not what But I'm you talking. are paying attention. And as you can see, we have part of the pond rock Locked in. We wanted to get this corner rocked in first because right here our wall is gonna go 26 inches down from patio height. So patio height is roughly around. No, 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 no. Your math's wrong. Six courses at four and a half is 27 inches, not 26. Well, it's a good thing that I'm gonna be the one building it instead of you because it would be wrong. Well, then your patio the height would be off. I hate. Sorry, I'm the artist. Okay, yeah, you still gotta make the numbers work. Well, whatever. And so as you can see, we have this, this two inch line that we fished behind all these rocks. And right here is three separate jets just along this wall. And they're gonna have them, we're gonna have them stubbed all the way straight up. And that's gonna create some turbulence in the water. So in the winter time, when they have this thing running, it's gonna be able to keep this entire area open so then they can see into the pond. And then it allows for that gas exchange in the winter time. There are gonna be steps in here. So right here, we got the first step already set today. And so that's gonna be our benchmark for tomorrow we're gonna bring our other steps and they're gonna pretty much come up along this way we're gonna have them turn and they're gonna come up into the patio that's right here so as you can see we have a lot of work ahead of us it's coming along good it's gonna be a really cool wreck pond yeah we're roughly at four feet deep in the, right here at the deepest hey good thing you're just a little bit little bit taller than four feet yeah, or your head not. would be underwater i know but yeah looks good awesome well, tomorrow we'll keep rocking, build some steps, build a wall, razz jack a little bit more. At this point, it's how many times do I get harassed in a day? But like I said, we're having fun doing it. You guys are He's fun. not the only one that gets harassed. Don't let him oh. make you believe that oh. because oh. I do, poor Corey does, Luis does, even Chris does, and it's usually him doing it. Cause you, cause I'm sorry, Chris steals it, so I might as well give it back true, to him. True, 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 all Jack's fault. Well, that being said, we're done for the day. We're gonna go home. We just enjoyed our ice cream treat. We'll see you tomorrow.